concern and trend happening in the video game industry. And this trend is blaming the fans for video games failing. And EA is doing exactly this with Star Wars Jedi Survivor. They are claiming that you are an idiot. The reason why this game is having performance issues on the PC is simply because you do not know how to configure your PC properly. Over here on Twitter, they released a statement on April 28th. And in this little thing here, all they are doing is deflecting blame and trying to downplay this issue into something that is very small and not at all concerning and unlike EA. Now, before we start this, I will tell you that I am probably going to go on a rant when I go through this. I absolutely hate shitty video game developers and this action here, them trying to pass the blame on the fans for them releasing a broken game. It's, it's really going to grind my gears. We are aware that Star Wars Jedi Survivor isn't performing to our standards for a percentage of our PC players. In particular, those with high-end machines or certain specific configurations. High-end machines. When I think of that, I'm thinking about $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 machines with uh, 3080s and with 4080s and, you know, top-of-the-line GPUs. These GPUs should have absolutely zero problem running this game at 60 FPS. But that isn't the case. There's plenty of videos out there. I've seen a couple of them where the only way to get this game to run at 60 FPS on a 4080 is to go ahead and lower the settings to the absolute bare minimum. The developers behind this EA respawn, anybody involved with this game should be absolutely embarrassed of themselves. There's absolutely zero excuse for releasing a game in this state. But instead of taking personal responsibility for this and saying, you know what, guys? We messed up. It was our fault. We released this broken game. We're going to do everything we can to make it up to you. They double down. And instead, they start play blaming the fans, the gamers, you guys, for these issues. For example, players using cutting-edge multi-threaded chipsets designed for Windows 11 were encountering problems on Windows 10 or high-end GPUs coupled with lower-performance CPUs also saw an unexpected frame loss. Rest assured, we are working to address these cases quickly. People who have high-end PCs usually know a lot about PCs. You would think this would be one of the first things they went ahead and they checked on. More than likely, it is. What EA is trying to do here, they're trying to downplay this. They're trying to make it seem that the only people having these problems are the PC gamers. Because these performance issues that we are seeing in this game it's not happening on consoles, right? It's not happening on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. It's only happening on the PC because PC gamers are a bunch of idiots. They're like the kid in the classroom that sat all the way in the back just shoving glue sticks in his fucking mouth. We are all just too stupid. We couldn't possibly know how to probably configure our PCs in order to play this game. And there's no way in hell that maybe just just maybe, just hear me out, guys, that EA could have released a broken game because it's especially not likely considering they have no past history of doing stuff like this. Once again, Green had gotten in EA's way. They went ahead. All they seen was money, and they pushed an unfinished game out of the door while giving the finger to the fans. And it gets even better down here in the very last paragraph here. While there is no single comprehensive solution for PC performance, the team has been working on fixes we believe will improve performance across a spectrum of configurations. We are committed to fixing these issues as soon as possible, but each patch requires significant testing to ensure we don't introduce no problems. Hey guys, we know we released a broken game. We're going to try to blame you for it, but don't expect these to be fixed anytime soon. You can expect the patches to come out in weeks, maybe months, because that is how long it is going to take for them to fix these issues. They more or less admit it right here. The fact is, if this game had these issues on launch, which it really shouldn't be, This these issues should be fixed by now. We should have a playable experience. We should be getting what we paid for especially with how the economy is these days what's the price of video games up in canada here they're over like a hundred dollars with taxes in that's nuts that is absolutely nuts people are paying a hundred dollars for something they're expecting to get 
a working product. If I go ahead and if I order a pizza, if I go up and pick it up, I'm not expecting to get half a pizza now, then half a pizza two weeks from now. I'm expecting to get the whole goddamn pizza when I pay for my order. This here, it's only the video game industry where this type of behavior is deemed acceptable. It's just absolutely nuts that people think that this is okay, especially developers. We paid for a product. Give us a fucking working product. It's as simple as that. Uh, thanks for understanding and apologies to any of our players experienced these as shot. Ah, fuck right off, really. Yeah. Hey guys, we're sorry that we fucked up, even though we just tried to pass the blame on you guys. How insincere does that sound? When someone says apologies, that's exactly what it comes across as. You know, it's I'm sorry. We're sorry. Uh, over here, us over at a uh, respawn, excuse me, are sorry that this game released in the state that it is in, that you're uh, having these issues. We are working our best to fix it. And please forgive us. A good apology is not hard to do, but EA cares so little about their fans that they're not even giving us that. We will continue to monitor performance across all platforms and share update timing as soon as it is available. Even if we were to put performance issues aside from all of this crap, this game, it is still not acceptable because it still has game breaking bugs in it. People can spend money, money hours playing this game, only have to restart their entire progress because they reign into one of these bugs. No matter what way you look at it, this game it is an absolute failure, even if you're one of those people that think that FPS really shouldn't matter all that much. But when it comes to EA, this isn't a single oopsie. This isn't a situation where something just slipped past their uh, quality assurance uh, testers. That isn't the case because EA has a history of doing shit like this. We have Mass Effect, Dragon Age Inquisition, uh, Battlefield 2042, I believe that is the name of it, and now Jedi Survivor. All highly anticipated games by EA that released in buggy, broken states. They know exactly what they are doing because there is no way that these issues could get past the quality assurance testers. They are knowingly putting out broken games at launch with the mindset of, hey, we'll, we'll take their money now and fix the product later down the road, maybe months from when we actually launched the game. There needs to be some sort of oversight for video game companies that do this. I've said this uh, in a recent post I made over on Peak D. It, it's, it's just nuts. I absolutely cannot stand it. Someone needs to hold these developers to a higher standard. And when they pull shit like this, they should be facing some sort of consequences that just doesn't come from the fans. This is not, I, 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 I just cannot believe a video game developer would go ahead and do this, would release a broken game and then go ahead and proceed to say that, hey, you guys know all these issues you were having over on PC. Well, it's actually your fault. It's not because we released a broken, crappy game. It's just very hard to fathom that a video game company would do that. And that is why EA is one of the laughing stocks of the video game industry. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you guys play Jedi Survivor? Are you having these issues or you're not having these issues? Do you even care about the FPS situation? Do you think that the game breaking bugs are more concerning? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you watch this long, you want to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell because it really help a follow out. Hope all you guys have an amazing, wonderful day. And now I need to go and calm down. Peace out.